Linus Gorp is last up tonight. He's an entrepreneur who's thrown out the rule book with his approach to everything he does. I love life. Life is a dance for me. I play a lot, I go in the woods. Um, I eat a lot of healthy food. I love clean living. Um, I love women. Oh, I love women. I feel quite confident that I will choose the right dragon to invest in me. Just from feeling the energy I feel from them. I feel more drawn to Sarah at the moment. But will the dragons share the entrepreneur's faith in his success in the den? Hello, dragons. I'm Linus, and my company is the Raw Chocolate Company. I'm here today to ask for a £72,000 investment for a 5% stake in my company. I manufacture and sell raw chocolate bars, raw chocolate covered berries, and a range of superfoods. The company has been going from strength to strength year after year. The products are sold in, in, the, in, in independent health food stores all across the UK. I've had Holland and Barrett knocking on my door and um, I had to say no because I didn't have enough cash in the bank nor space to hold enough stock for them. So I'm here now to ask for that little extra help to get the raw chocolate company into the mainstream UK market. So, I hope, come and join me. Would you like to try some? Oh, yes. Please. Chocolate with a wholesome twist. That's the package on offer from Lena's Gore. He's looking for £72,000 for a 5% bite of his company. The flavour's fantastic. Thank you. Restaurateur and professional foodie Sarah Willingham is first to chow down on the business. Linus, hi. Hello. To the ignorant person, what, is, what does raw mean? So imagine you have an apple that is nice and fresh, and in the other hand, you have an apple that you've put in the oven for two hours at 200 degrees. Which one would you imagine would make you feel better? For me, it's the fresh apple. And is this something that, in general, demand is growing for? Yeah, it's definitely growing. Like, I go into my local Marks and Spencers and I buy my uh, superfood salads. Describe, if there was anything bad about these, what would it be? The one you would pick up on would be the fat content, which is the same fat content as any chocolate. So it's no worse, it's but it's it actually no better. So the sugar content, when comparing it to other chocolate, same? No, I use coconut palm sugar, which is um, not refined white sugar. It's the That's sugar that has been made from... So it's unrefined. Uh, but yeah. it's unrefined, it's boiled, so it doesn't raise your blood sugar levels. Linus, can I just ask, what's the towel on the side? Because uh, it made you sort of like trademark. a cross between a Viking and a window cleaner. It's the Linus so, trademark. Is it really? Yeah. So it's, I wear it all the time. I think a lot of this is very much about people, Linus, and you are... Um, you're a really genuinely, genuinely nice person, but at the same time, um, the product, I think it's the best in terms of chocolate that I've ever seen that's come into the den. Really. Thank you. Linus has yet to put a foot wrong, as his chocolate and ethos prove a big hit with the dragons. Now, Sarah Willingham wants to delve into the detail of his supply chain. Where are you sourcing everything from? What's your relationship like well, with I your buy them supply? from a UK importer and they buy them from Peru. What proportion of your cost of sales is the chocolate? I would say 75% Whoa! is the chocolate, chocolate and the chocolate ingredients. I'm, I'm an expert at sourcing. So okay. have you ever been to Peru? No. If I was you, I'd get on the next plane to Peru and work out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It's like myself. In my businesses, right, I say to my people, we cut out the middlemen. We go direct. This you know? is what I want to do. You can do it. What's been stopping me faith. is they want payment up front. Don't worry about that. We might get to that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But I want to ask you another question. What would happen if I invested in your business and I said to you, I've got great contact in your favourite store? My favourite store? You mentioned it earlier on. Did I? Yeah, you said I shop in so-and-so. Oh, right. My... <laughs> Uh, that would be Infinity Foods in Brighton. No, you told me Marks and Spencers. Oh, right. I did, yes. You did? Yes, I did say... Now, I have an amazing contact at Marks and Spencers, and I know they would love this. Sounds good. 
the potential to cut out the middlemen and boost the company's profits, expertly identified by Tuka Suleiman. Sarah Willingham, who's managed some of the world's most successful restaurant chains, seems the perfect fit for investment. Will she want to add the brand to her food business portfolio? I love what you do, um, but I don't think I am the best person to invest in this in terms of getting you into the mainstream supermarkets, which is actually what you are poised to do. I think you'll be very successful. Thank you. But for those reasons, I'm not going to make you an offer, and I'm out. She was Linus's preferred investor, but Sarah Willingham makes a surprise exit from the deal. Will Deborah Meaden go the same way? Well, I... I like this. You're good. And I like it when the, the person fits the product and, you, and there's an authenticity about you. Thank you. So I'm going to make you an offer. OK. I'm going to offer you £72,000 and I want 10% of the business. Thank you. A change in fortune for Linus as Deborah Meaden raises the bar with an offer, but a double the equity stake he was willing to give away. Nick Jenkins is next to have his say. I, uh, I love the product and I think it has great authenticity. Um, I would love a part of this, but I don't want to offer all of the money, but I would love a piece of it, but I would have to tag along with some of the other dragons. So I'm going to offer you £36,000 for 4% of the business. Thank you. Nick Jenkins has an appetite to spend, but needs another investor to complete his bid. Will that dragon be Tuka Suleiman? My background is sourcing around the world. My background is manufacturing and my background is distribution. I believe that I've got more time, Tuka time, than any of the dragons here, right? I can mentor you in your production and your distribution and open channels for you. Now, you've had a part offer from uh, my colleague and I, and I have a lot of faith that Nick can give you a lot of online, and online is important. Yeah. And what I want to do is off you the other half, but I want 6%. Because I believe... Thank you. ..I can offer you more. Controversial. Thank you. An offer from Tuka Suleiman, but it comes at a price, 6% of the company. 2% more than Nick Jenkins was asking for. Deborah Meaden is the only investor with a solo offer, £72,000 for 10% of the business. But Peter Jones has yet to join the bidding war. Well, Linus, I bet you didn't expect that today, did you? Uh, yes. You did expect this today? Yeah. Wow. Do you want me to make you an offer? Yes. The, the thing is, I'm concerned that... I'm up against it. I don't mind saying that out loud. Um. <sighs> Can we tea break, Nick? Sorry. Um, I'm going to make you an offer. Thank you. Oop. I, I want 20% of the company, Linus. Do you now? Very cheeky. <laughs> and, and, and the reason for that is that if I was to own 20%, it would get much more of the attention that I think you're going to need and you're looking for. But to give you a little bit of value back, I have the ability to give you more money than the money you've asked for. So I'm going to offer you 
£90,000 for 20% of the company. Thank you, Peter. A tactical manoeuvre from Peter Jones as he ups the ante by bidding higher than his dragon counterparts. But it looks like he's got some heavyweight competition. I like you. So I'm going to make you a, another offer, if I'm allowed to. I don't know. We Do what you break, like. Break, break okay. The, break the I'll give you £100,000 for yes. 20%. Right. I want to be part of this, and I think we can go on a great journey. So does that mean that the first offer, you two together, is not valid anymore? Or? Well, that, that, that's assumed that, I, that is assuming that I agreed to it, which I wouldn't have done. So that, okay. that's... Uh, oh, I see. That yeah, wouldn't yeah. have suited me. Yeah. So I'd love to participate. You know how I'm going to support your business? I'm going to buy a lot of this chocolate. <laughs> Great. But I don't think I can participate in either of these two deals. So for that reason, I'm afraid I'd be out. Three dragons at Linus's disposal. Deborah Meaden's offering £72,000 for 10% equity. Peter Jones wants 20%, but for £90,000. And Tuka Suleiman also wants 20%, but for £100,000. I think it's, I like to have all three of you. But... I'm not going to go for that, because that's not an option. Um, I'd like to go for... Deborah. Fantastic. Well done. Job done. And just so you know, you probably don't want three dragons. You'd only have us arguing. Congratulations. I'm really Thank pleased you. with that, and I'm very excited. This is exactly what I was looking for. Linus exits the den with a golden ticket to success. Yay! Go and celebrate. <laughs> Good for you. Courtesy of his new multimillionaire business partner. Deborah, well done. Great guy. I think he's Great good. product. I'm yeah. pleased he walked out with him. I'm jealous. Yeah. No, it's good. He's going good. to be good. Yeah. yeah he's Very good. good I think. He's just spot on. It's just yeah. its moment. Ah! Ah! The Viking. Ah!